listening to a podcast on my way to the endodontist. Uh, good morning. It's 10 a.m. Um, my appointment's at 11, but you know how it is when you go somewhere new. You're going to sign in a bunch of paperwork, all that stuff. But all that to say, I'm headed to the endodontist. I might be getting three root canals in my bottom three front teeth today. We'll see. Um, it's a consultation and then possibly the actual, not surgery, but procedure, I guess. Um, but I have a cleaning, a regular teeth cleaning tomorrow. Um, so if, if I can't get my regular cleaning because of this, I'm not going to do it because my dentist is scheduling that to like October, November. And the fact of the matter is, it's just, I'm not going to reschedule that far out. So hopefully I can either get the, like, get the procedure done today and go to the dentist tomorrow, or I can just not get the procedure done today, not worry about it, schedule it for another time, but yeah, that's, that's what's happening today, figured I would do a nice week in my life, oh, if you don't know, hi, I'm Rebecca, I currently work for Wayfair, I coach lacrosse, that starts next week, um, I live with my fiance Josh, we're getting married in May, all the good things, but anyway, yes, I am out and about this morning, I think I got into bed at like 4 15 4 30 this morning and then woke up at like 9 30 so that's five hours in bed but um basically um i'm probably gonna take a nap later but my plan for today is going to this appointment if i'm not feeling out of it or, or like if i don't have like procedure or whatever i'm gonna go to the gym and then once i get from the gym probably take a nap and yeah, I'll kind of take my day from there. But first things first, the endodontist. It's places like this where I'm like, so you guys that look like you're in a goddamn apartment building are going to be in my mouth today. All right, cool. Love that for me. But also I want to say this spray tan day four, best day yet. This is the color I would like to be for the rest of my life, honestly. But um, yeah, I figured I would mention that. If you didn't watch my last vlog, I got spray tanned and it was crazy for a little bit there but yeah it's really i like it now it's good um but anyway it's uh 10 30 so i am half an hour early so i'm gonna wait in the car for like five or ten minutes and then i'm gonna walk in just finished at the endodontist you can't tell by my like fat lip and not being able to move the bottom half of my chin um but it was a really quick appointment it's 12 now so literally it's like barely over an hour and um they just did one tooth today I learned, mm -hmm. um they just did one tooth today and then in june they're gonna do the other two so i love that um i thought when they originally called me to tell me my um payment i thought they meant it was gonna be for all four teeth and it was gonna be like 500 ish dollars so i was like cool turns out that's per tooth so by the end of these shenanigans, I'm going to be out like $1,500, which like, it's better than losing my teeth. So I'll take it. But anyway, I'm gonna, my stomach was growling so loud. It was embarrassing. It was like, they were like, oh, are you hungry? I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten yet today. Uh. <laughs> but, um, oh my God, it's so swollen. It's not even swollen. It's just like, it feels weird. But anyway, um. I want to eat, but you're not supposed to eat when you're swollen, obviously, because I'm going to, like, bite my tongue off. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go to the gym, I think, do a quad focus leg day, and then hopefully by the end, my mouth isn't as swollen anyway, so I can at least, like, eat something. And if not, I'll just take a nap. <laughs> Back home in a sweat set, eating the first time I'm eating today, eating a bagel. Hey, that's not yours, but eating a bagel. So glad I got these the other day. It's really been a hit, but waiting for the coffee to heat up and then that's gonna be that. But for the rest of today, that's really all I had planned. I did my wedding homework this weekend, which was just recording of me and Josh's story, which was nice to just like gush. Cause like, I don't know, no one wants to hear about like how happy you are. <laughs> so it's like nice to just like have the outlet. And um, Josh is at training. So I'm home alone tonight 
and most of tomorrow. But yeah, for the rest of today though, for now anyway, I'm watching YouTube eat my bagel. I was like, that would be fun to do just like a yeah. year of travel and just like a day. Alrighty, hello vlog. I am checking in. It is eight o'clock, just a little past, and I am working. It, um, tonight is gonna be a long one. I tried napping on the couch, but basically I was watching some YouTube and every time I put it on, I would doze off, but then every time I turned it off, I would just end up staring at my eyelids and not actually falling asleep, which is fine. Just gonna be a little tired tomorrow, but I have enough time to nap. So basically after work tonight, I get done at four and then I'm gonna go to the gym for um, like five to six-ish, um, maybe five to six thirty-ish, either way. I have a dentist appointment at seven in the morning so then I'll go to the dentist appointment and then once the dentist appointment's done, I'll drive home and then I'll go to sleep. And then we have a timeline planning phone call for the wedding at one. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but then after that, hopefully I can take a nap before I work the next night. Uh, tomorrow's also my mom's birthday, which is really exciting. Um, my family is like my siblings are all gonna go down there and hang out with her, which makes me a little bit sad that I won't be able to make it since I'm working late and have like meetings and appointments and stuff. But Okay, I'm gonna see her on Friday, so we'll still have time to see each other. And then I still sent flowers to her house like I do on most people's birthdays. So did that. Um, but yeah, for anyway, tonight is just um, a work night. My mouth is still like swollen on one side. Like my jaw, like uh, my chin, I guess, is really stiff. Like it feels like it did after I got um, the abscess like emptied but it's like just really tight. Like I can't like fully express myself there. So that's still kind of annoying, but I was able to eat food. So whatever, I don't care. But anyway, for now I am plugging away at work. It's nice. Cause there's actually like around like 200 tickets which is a lot for a random Monday. So I'm glad that there's actually work to do enough to keep me busy for the long haul. Yeah, anyway. And my manager messaged me tonight and she, or my old manager. And um, she, haven't, I haven't talked to her since I basically left the team back in January. So it's nice to connect. Um, and my manager is sick. But anyway, none of that really matters for what I'm saying besides that I am working. So I'll see you guys. Later. My computer sounds like it's about to fucking take off. One nice thing about Josh not being here at training, since he's at training, I mean, is that I can just like whip up anything I want and I can talk as loud as I want. So it's literally midnight on my quote lunch break and eating some protein yogurt. I'm gonna add some chocolate chips and some granola. And uh, this is what's gonna get me through until 8 a.m. when I can go to bed. Listening to a podcast, leaving the gym now. Oh, that sign's doing really well. Um, and I'm off to the dentist. Yeah, so it's today was a chest and tricep focused workout that went well, and then uh, walked on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Now, obviously, I'm headed to the dentist, so. It's just a routine cleaning today. My chin is still kind of swollen from the root canal yesterday because they like, I don't know, it's just like, it's not numb, but like, it's just, it feels swollen. It feels exactly like it did when I got the abscess drained or whatever. Like just like bigger than, it feels like I'm the crimson chin. <laughs> but I think it's just cause like they were like moving it around and I don't know, it's just like a little sore. Anyway, all that to say, I'm, I'm um, excited to go to bed. I really hope this is not that long. It's just a, a regular cleaning, so it really shouldn't be long, but I'm hoping to be in bed by like 8, 8.30 at the latest because I have to wake up at like 12.45 because I have a phone call at one. Granted, I could go back to sleep after that, but I don't wanna just sleep all day, so. Hope I could get some good sleep in. And if not, like tomorrow, 
like all I'm doing is going to the gym in the morning and then I don't have anything going on until like 2.30. So I'll be able to definitely sleep in tomorrow if nothing else, but hoping I can at least get some good rest today. But I'm rambling now. You can't tell I'm tired by the way I'm rambling. Um, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Never seen a better sight. Alrighty. Wait for the chair to move. My teeth are nice and shiny. All cleaned up. Okay, anytime. I freaking see you there. Holy crap. So, my j chin is still like swollen though from yesterday. But that's whatever. It's 7.45. I headed home to bed so I will check in with you guys when I wake up and hopefully I get some good sleep and if not before my next appointment then after good morning vlog it is 12 o'clock and um, I'm just woke up um I put my since I have an iPhone uh, they have all those like focus and like sleep modes on the phone so I put my phone in the sleep mode and I woke up to four voicemails and two emails that I needed to like respond to. I'm like, oh. so just got done calling a florist, um, delivery people for the fridge that's coming on Thursday. Um, oh, we bought a fridge. <laughs> so that's getting delivered Thursday. So I need to confirm that. Um, and then also my endodontist called to make sure that everything is good in my mouth. So we love that, but I'm just like, it's always aggressive like when you wake up and you like are reactive instead of like being proactive or just like not doing anything at all. Um, so I just threw on my hoodie, gotta brush my teeth real quick. Um, I'm probably gonna go right back to bed after this call cause I only slept like four hours, so. But I gotta look at least a little presentable for my wedding planner. <laughs> So we'd be looking at around 7.30ish, depending on 30. So you won't even have to worry about trying to hide <clears throat> like during your lunchtime and everything. Like you, they used to go outside, you can walk around mm -hmm. and um... Making the bed, I'm gonna fold some laundry right now, but just got off the uh, planning call for the wedding, which I wish Josh could have been there, but it's okay. Um, but basically met with our planner and our photographer to like nail down like more specific timeline details. And then also just talked with my planner for a while. And it's nice to talk in person instead of over email. Cause it's just like, we can get on the same page about what like the vibe is. Cause we are getting married at the house, but we don't want it to feel like a freaking backyard barbecue, but we also don't want it to feel like okay, like now we have to do this because it's like, it's not that formal either. So we, we want to find the middle ground of like making sure like things get done at the times they're supposed to get done at while also not making it feel like so regimented and strict while also not feeling too casual. So it's like a lots of balance going on. So it was nice to kind of meet with the planner and kind of like express that because I don't know, like, when I tried expressing it over email, it didn't come off. It comes off a bit harsh when you're like, this is too much. Yeah. But anyway, um, I was gonna try and take a nap, but I don't really see that happening in my future. So I'm just gonna fold the laundry and then I'll go out to the living room. And if I nap on the couch, great. If I can't nap on the couch, then whatever. But for now, I am doing the laundry and then I gotta eat something too, I'm starving. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. Like when you're, uh, why is it embarrassing when your stomach rolls? Actually, I'm like me in this freaking Zoom call. My stomach's like, oh. I'm like cool. Um, please ignore the fact that my stomach is eating itself from the inside out. Like, my goodness. But anyway, yes. So, love that the meeting went well. Love I got to talk to Lex, who's our photographer. Get on the same page with her. I'm glad. Like my point can be, my point came across well to the planner. She like understands the vision at this point which is really nice because for a little bit there, we were worried about um, like not being on the same page, but 
we're definitely on the same page now. So that's all good. Yeah, um, excited. I can't even like begin to start thinking about the fact that like the wedding is a month and a half away. Like part of me feels like it's still like a year and a half away. Another part of me feels like it's freaking next week. And it's great, like it's coming up so fast, but it's also like dreadfully slow. I'm sure like people, like whenever you're excited about something, it feels that way. But yeah, it was nice to like, it's finally like becoming real. Cause like basically, oh my God. basically the wedding has been like this pipe dream I've had since um, last January. So not even this January, two January ago, because I started planning like way too early. Um, and so it's been like just this thought in our, my head. And now like people are just repeating and it's like, People are gonna be there and like we're planning it and like there's other people involved more than myself so it's like crazy like it's it's real but anyway doing laundry i will check in with you guys later josh is back in training it's four ten four early today i was trying to nap with the girls but it did not work <laughs> i have now left you <laughs> And Nico is watching us. We're making our first every plate meal. BBQ meatloaf sandwich. It's a cat. It's ate the bread, so we have to deal with that. But we're picking out all of our veggies. Through the the, okay, so we have what? Uh, we need some barbecue sauce. We don't need onions. No. Uh, yellow onion. Yes, we need it. Yellow onion. Potatoes. Yeah, I got the potatoes. Garlic. Yep. So we need sweet smoky barbecue seasoning. Garlic powder. Okay, I haven't found some barbecue. Mexican. That's probably in the fridge. Okay, maybe, but you said it was seasoning, not the, n the... Sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning, yeah. But yeah, no. so that's probably like a bag. Maybe. What's this? Paprika. Okay. okay, I guess I'll find it after. What's next? <laughs> All right, so after, the, so there's barbecue sauce, sweet and smoky barbecue seasoning. If you can't find those, I'll beef, find which we have. Mm -hmm. I've got eight and eight. Oh, Beef. I found it. Yeah. Maybe this one's right. Does it say two? Yeah, probably. Yes, two because we're doing a double. Yep. Okay, what else? Um, Beef stock concentrate. Oh, that's in the fridge. Okay. Fridge or freezer? The fridge. I'm excited. Oh, nice. It's all, it's all right here. Yeah. Look at all our organization. We're going to have a new fridge this week. So very oh, exciting. Yeah. But that's all uh, the fridge stuff. barbecue sauces? Yeah. We're gonna have new bins for everything, new fridge. It's gonna be mint. It's gonna be installed by yours truly, hopefully. Yeah. Um, barbecue sauce, beef stock concentrate. Yeah, it's in this little baggies. Right in the pink one. Uh, 16 ounces. Yeah, so two of them. Two of them. Two of them. Uh, oh no, sorry. Oh, yeah, it says two, yeah. Soy sauce. That's weird. Gluten free. Yep. <laughs> Panko breadcrumbs was in there. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder. Uh, panko one or breadcrumbs two. is one, and garlic powder is two. Much good. Nice. This is like that's pretty it. good. Does, uh, do these need to go in the fridge? It's kind of wrinkly. What does? What is that? <laughs> it's a pepper. Look at us being little chefs, trying big, new big things. Chefs. Big chefs trying new things. Pretty excited about this. And honestly, it wasn't as hard as, not that I expected it to be hard, but pretty easy. Although I am wearing white and I probably shouldn't have done that. that but, was but I haven't stained it, not So, we love that. Nico always being the big sleeps. There's not a small of this, it's not that big. Caramelizing some onions. Baking some stuff in the oven, looking good so far. How do you go follow me? Josh is playing with your kitten. Imagine we had two more. Come on. Look at your face. She's so happy. Alright. The 
meatless burgers. Looking pretty good. The garlic chunks are a bit large. I was like, what the pork chunks? Oh, yeah, those are one for each sandwich, and then you have the other two in there. Have the potatoes, uh, which the paper got burnt to the thing. It's fine. Uh, caramelized onions. Gonna mayonnaise our bread. I think I'm gonna add some lettuce to mine. Let's see, but our first taste test coming in. This won't be, this will be good though. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Superb. Mm. Oh. Oh, sweet. Nice. Nice. We'll make it again. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye, vlog. We took a nap. Yeah, I fell asleep in the first a little bit. You need your haircut. Okay, Miko's gonna play with this. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Nice. Can't use it. <laughs> Miko wants to play. It's been three seconds <laughs> since the last clip. She's so cute. And uh, Miko has taken over the game. <laughs> okay. Look at those wags. It's 1.30. Been working for a while, obviously. Um, only working for like two and a half more hours, two and a quarter more hours. Um, but figured I would check in. Um, what I've been doing is going to the gym right in the morning, uh, especially like the days that Josh works when he needs a car to go to work, obviously. Um, instead of me like going right when he gets home and then rushing to start work in the afternoon or in the evening i've been finishing work at like 4 30 and then going to the gym like you've seen him probably beginning of this vlog another vlog but anyway um i don't have any appointments in the morning tomorrow or any appointments at all um only thing i have going on is like my girlfriend's gonna come over around like 2 30 when she's done work but like i don't have anything in the morning and Josh has to bring back a car because he had training. So decided that I'm not gonna go to the gym first thing this morning. Instead, I'm gonna crawl into bed with Josh for like half an hour, however long it is until his alarm goes off. Then I'm gonna stay in bed, sleep. And then I'll go to the gym in the like morning, mid to afternoon, whenever I wake up. I'm like, I like going right after work, but it's also nice like not having to just like be so exhausted and like falling asleep on my way to and from the gym um so i think yeah that's gonna be my plan so i'm gonna work tonight go to sleep then go to the gym and just take advantage of having the car because it's not always that i get to have the car during the day um especially like when josh is working like that basically never happens unless i drive him to work but i don't have to drive him to work i just have to pick him up because he had a car for his training anyway all that aside I'm working now. This sweatsuit, I'm telling you, like, Fruit of the Loom really did something with their sweats. Um, but I'm live, laugh, loving in this white sweatsuit. Um, my tan is kind of wearing off, so tomorrow after the gym, I'm gonna like shower and exfoliate because there's definitely like some splashy parts, but yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I need to show this information. I think about that sometimes where I'm like, when I'm vlogging, I'm like, why am I sharing this? But I'm also like, I like sharing my life. I like. I like looking back, like I was just watching a vlog of my own from like, I don't know, I think it was like this time last year, like when the cross was starting it. It's so interesting just like to see my mindset and see how things were then. But anyway, I am working and I will check in probably tomorrow when I go to the gym, or not tomorrow, <laughs> later today after I wake up when I go to the gym. Um, I don't know if I want to vlog at the gym today just because I've been vlogging at the gym like every single day. 
um, and it's all basically the same stuff since I'm not showing you like my actual workouts, but I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna get back to work. Girlies and I are just waking up for the day. Such cuties. But I am gonna get my gym clothes on and head over to the gym. Oh, bless you. I was gonna shower, but I think I'm gonna vacuum and clean first. That way when I'm done with the shower, I can just sit my ass on the couch, but the girlies are hanging out. But I definitely need to vacuum like the cat litter on the ground. That's from you, you're disgusting. Just like little messes, I gotta throw away these tulips are, are fading fast. Um, yeah, so just gonna vacuum, do some surfaces. I'm just like, you can't tell me there's any way you'd rather spend your afternoon before working. <laughs> I got this fridge organizer, which is, um, it's more popular than that this one is like a can. But as you can see, it's like just a larger version. So we can put our seltzers in there because we always, almost always have like long cans and stuff. But there it is. Hello? <laughs> Yeah, all right, anyway, so yeah, you can fit water bottles. It's like nine inches across, so we can fit our larger cans in there too. So I'm just gonna get this label off, wash it, and then stick it in the fridge. Miko's been such a little cutie girl today. I don't know what is up with her, but she's just being like so docile and cute. Also, I'm watching SpongeBob, so don't worry about me. <laughs> all right, <laughs> literally just like watching SpongeBob in the background, whatever. But now, we always have some we typically have some alcohol in the fridge like every week oh my god this is great oh nice that fits perfect cool there we go and then we also have these like tiny ones perfect and then i also got regular can sized organizers so we'll have some for like our cokes and um what are you doing <laughs> we'll have some for our cokes and sprites because we usually get those during the week and then we also got other bins <laughs> she's thirsty but yeah nice i'm excited for the fridge fridge is coming tomorrow too so you guys will be able to see that in this vlog so stay tuned <laughs> the music making dinner mint the donut gasket's not even bad there's cobwebs in it <laughs> Josh got a down pipe. Something very, very, very important. Dinner was good though. But picked Josh up now home. It's 6.30 so I'm gonna start working like an hour or so. And I'm tired. That's only one Oh, I get it, Mika's right. Get it out. Wow. <laughs> Josh is more in love with this thing than he is with me. Huh? <laughs> what? Good morning vlog. It is 11 o'clock. Just woke up and we had a special delivery come. I hope. Oh yeah. Our new fridge. Looks so good. So excited about it. So, let's see. Ah, uh, it's so good. Cool. Well, I obviously need to take care of myself right now, but um, I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna come home and organize the fridge. I'm so excited to organize. I'm like, this is so stupid, but I'm excited about it. Yeah, but for now, since, um, yeah. I'm gonna head to the gym, do a glute focus leg day and then organize the fridge and that's gonna be my Thursday. Also, Josh and his friend are hanging out today, so big thanks to Josh and Xander because I literally would not have been awake for this delivery, and it's just so nice to have people that will take care of things for you when you're not around, and Josh's friend Xander is really helpful too. Cool. I'm so excited. All right. To the gym.
back from the gym it is time to organize everything we don't have all of the organizing or okay. organization containers yet that stuff's gonna come this weekend so stay tuned for next vlog uh if you want to see that but for now i'm gonna move around what i can in here and find better places for it. also miko is like a psycho girl stop eating the plastic it's not good <laughs> miko's very curious but I'm so excited. Oh, it's so nice. It's so clean. And I'm like, I'm so excited for like, what, like, um, I'm trying to think of the word. Our other containers too, because then it'll be nice to have like everything organized instead of just some stuff. But I think this shelf is going to be for like our meals, because we're doing the every plate meal boxes. So I think this shelf will be for our meals. This one we can do for our leftovers and the top shelf can be for our drinks and all that kind of stuff. So, yay. <laughs> all right, let me speed through this, organize this, and then I'll show you after. Definitely not perfect. Waiting for the organizers for the extra cans and then this will look a lot better, but I think the top shelf's gonna be drinks. Bottom shelf will be our meal prep stuff. I don't know, like this mini drawer. I don't know what to do. Then we have our breakfast stuff here, our veggies, dairy and meat, the door. I don't really know. It's like, I've never had to organize for that looks like this. So I think we're just gonna have to live with it for a while and kind of see how it works. But this is how it's looking so far. Definitely excited for it, but it's not looking great but it will soon. <laughs> All right, actually, and then I'm gonna end the vlog off here because I'm gonna ride the bike. Only things, only other things happening for the rest of today are um, Josh and I are gonna make dinner. I'm working tonight and literally that's it. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this, make sure you like this. Don't forget to comment something down below, subscribe. Come back next week for me actually organizing the fridge and figure that out. Also, lacrosse, you gave me coaching, starts on Monday and today's Thursday. So, Wish me luck and I'm glad I have a lot of my videos like like this is going up the second week of April and it's currently um, like middle of March. So I'm way ahead. So yeah, um, I don't know how much I'll be able to be filming during my lacrosse season, but I'll definitely document like my weekends or my free time if nothing else. But yes, I am going to go ride the bike relax, really soak up these last few days of just having absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, see you guys.